Okay, this is the video answer key for Chapter 28, Part 1. This is an important time that you can clarify any issues you have so that when you do Part 2, hopefully you'll get them all right on the second time through if you didn't this time. So, let's go to number 1. 14 divided by 5 is 2 because an int divided by an int it has to be an int. So it's not two point anything, it's just two. Number two, seven divided by ten. Well, seven, uh, ten goes into seven zero times. So it's an int, zero. It's not a decimal. It's not seven tenths. It is a zero because seven divided by ten has to be an int. Thirteen modulus five. So five goes into thirteen. You take the uh, 13 and divide it by 5 problem, and 5 goes into 13 twice, but it has, it has a remainder of 3. So the answer is 3. And remember, you, take, you, just, you go 2 times 5 is 10, subtract, and then that's your remainder, and that's what it is. Number four, 15 modulus three. Well, 15 divided by three is five with no, none left over. So 15 modulus three is zero. Four modulus seven, so you take four divided by seven, and seven goes into four zero times, and the zero times seven is zero, and you're left with four, and so that's the remainder. And so 4 is the remainder. That's your answer. 14.0 divided by 5. Now that is um, <clears throat> OK, so 14.0 divided by 5 is a double divided by an int. Since one of the operands is a double, the answer has to be a double or a decimal. So if you do this in the calculator, you'll find out that 14 divided by 5 is 2.8. All right, so that's your answer because it's got to be the decimal. Now, if you didn't have this 14, the point zero, the answer would just be the 2. Okay, because that would be an int divided by an int. Number 7 is an int divided by a double, and a double um, means that you have to have, your answer has to be a double. And so if you do this in the calculator, you'll find out that 7 divided by 8, point zero, or 7 divided by 8, actually, in your calculator, you would have 0 0.875. And again, if this, if you didn't have a point zero here, then it would be zero. The answer would be zero because it would have to be an int. Number eight, you have a d double times an int, so the answer has to be a double. So you can't just put 12, because 12 is not a double. 12 is an int, and so it's going to be 12.0. All right, uh, the next one, 19. 19, uh, 16 plus 5.0 is not 21 because one of the operands is a double. And so the answer has to be a double. So it's 21.0. You'll see how important that is later on as we do our programming. Number 10, 18 modulus 4 times 8 divided by 3. You have these three different operators or um, operations are on the same priority level, so you do them from left to right. So 18 modulus 4 is uh, 4 into 18, which is um, 4, and then it has a remainder of 2. So uh, therefore, that is 2, and then times 8. Okay, sorry about the interruption, and so back to where we were. So now we, uh, we've done the modulus, and now we're going to do the multiplication. And so 16 divided by 3, and then 16 divided by 3. 3 goes into 16 five times. So that's it.
it goes in more than five, but it has to be an integer because an int divided by an int is an int. Going on to 11, you do the parentheses first. So it's going to be seven um, modulus um, six divided by five. And so we're going to do those now from left to right because they're all on the same priority level. And 7 modulus 6, well, 6 goes into 7 once and has 1 left over. So the answer is 1. And then uh, divided by 5. And 1 divided by 5, well, 5 go, 1 divided by 5. So if you go 1 divided by 5, 5 goes in to 1 zero times. That's your answer. We don't care about the decimal or the remainder. It's just 0, because with int divided by int is an int. Number 12, 15. See, so you have uh, all these are in the same priority. So you go from left to right. So you have 9 plus 5 minus 4. And then you have uh, 9 plus 5 is 14. And then 14 minus 4 is 10. OK, number 12. Now these, you have different priority levels. And so uh, we want to do the division and the um, modulus before we do the pluses and the minuses. OK, so uh, we are going to go, we'll leave the 12 here. And then we're going to do the division first. So 35 divided by 4, well, 4 goes into 35 eight times with some left over. So 8 is the answer, because it didn't divide by an int is an int. And then we got modulus 5, and then minus 6. So now we have um, 8 modulus 5. Well, that's looking for the remainder. And so 8 uh, divided by 5 is 1 with 3 left over. So the remainder is 3, and that's what the modulus is asking for, is the remainder. And then we have minus 6. And now we have these two are on the same priority, so we'll go from left to right. So 12 plus 3 is 15, and minus 6. So our final answer on this is going to be 9. Number 14, we do the parentheses first. And so we're going to go 10 minus 5. All right, and now you've got the rest of it laid out here. And now we have left a modulus and a multiplication, which are in higher priority than the minus and the addition. And so we're going to do the modulus first. And so we're going to go 10 minus, and then whatever 5 modulus four, five, 9 is. Now 5 modulus 9, what that means, you take the division problem, um, 5 divided by 9. And you take 9 into 5, goes 0. But we're not asking for the 0. We're asking for the remainder. So 0 times 9 is 0, which after you subtract, you have 5. So it's 0, remainder 5. And therefore, the uh, 5 remainder 9, I'm <coughs> sorry, 5 modulus 9, is then 5. OK, so. <coughs> The next thing we do is the multiplication, which gives us a 70 here. And so, whoops, that's supposed to be a 7. A 70. And then now we have minus and plus. We go from left to right. So 10 minus 70 is negative 60. So yeah, you can get negative numbers. And then negative 60 plus 3, which is going to give us then a final negative answer of negative 57 for number 14. All right, so number 15. Um, now, you've got to be careful here, because we're not only dealing with um, order of operations or, or um, operation precedence, but you're also dealing with uh, the fact that now we're dealing with a double in here. And so the first thing we do is we're going to do the division first, and then the multiplication, left to right. So 8 divided by 3. 3 goes into 8 twice. And then we're going to multiply by 6.2, or 6.0. Now, this is <coughs> now going to be an int times a double, so the answer has to be a double. So it's not 12, because that's an int. The answer has to be a double, and so it's 12.0, not 12.0.
12. Number 16, you start out with the division and then the addition and then the multiplication because we're going from left to right. And 9.0 is a double divided by an int has to be a double. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. But it, the answer can't be 3. It's got to be 3.0 because it's got to be a double. And then we're going to multiply that times 8. And it's not 24. It's 24.0 because a double times an int has to be a double. And then the last one, uh, 16 modulus 5. Um, that's going to be 5 goes into 16 three times. And it has one uh, left over. So it's 3 remainder 1. Therefore, um, 16 modulus 5 is asking for the remainder. It's 1 divided by 4.0. Now, this is going to be a little tricky here, but you've got an int divided by a double, so the answer has to be a double. So now you can just do this. Uh, you can probably do this in your head or a calculator. And you'll come up with a decimal 0 0.25. And so since the answer has to be a double, you would leave the 0.25 um, in there. And that would be your answer, because the answer has to be double. OK, now you, um, at some point, the, uh, ch the part two will be available. Do those problems based on what you learned um, by going through this video answer key. And hopefully, uh, that will help you.